Hey guys, Malkuth1974 coming back at you with another tutorial on Kerbal Space Program. This time we are going to be covering the Cathane mod. So what is the Cathane mod? The Cathane mod is a mod that adds surveying of planets to find a natural resource called Cathane, which you then can mine and turn into either any type of fuel system in the game or use Cathane itself as its own fuel source for this particular engine they have in the game. So let's just get going on this right now. Uh, first thing we're going to cover is in the first tab is in propulsion. So it's a couple different ones in here. Let's cover the biggest uh, Cathane storage uh, apparatus. Uh, the, the ones I'm going to go through right now are 2.5 meters. Uh, biggest ones they have are 2.5 and 1.25, so, and a radio mount, so we'll go through it. Uh, with this one right here. Uh, this one holds 16,000. Biggest one you can get, which will just hold cathane. Uh, when uh, you take off with these, uh, they are empty, so they have no fuel in them at all, no cathane. You have to actually go someplace and mine the cathane, so that's the biggest one. Let me make sure here. This is the second biggest one. This one can hold 8,000. Uh, and if we look at the mass, the mass is 1.75 on this one. And on that big one, it's 3.25. And the next biggest one is this. Again, these are all 2.5. And we have a 2,000, which is a nice skinny one. There's a 1.25 version that you can hold. That only holds 1,000. Well, it's pretty good. And then you have your radio mounted version uh, that's called the KET-15 external cathane manifold. Basically all you can do is you can put those on there or you can, you know, do them like any other type of radio thing. And these all hold 150 each. Yep, the last thing in here is called the KEJ-650 bypass turbine. And what this actually is, is a jet engine. And unlike the jet engines that are part of Kerbal Space Program, this jet engine can work in non-oxygen non atmospheres. Next part where we will be in is the utility tab, which is some of the most important parts in here. Now, with the, uh, the newest update of 0.50, we got two new parts, and one of the parts are actually in here. So first, let me, uh, let me go back and grab something. We'll grab this right here. There we go. Go back to utility. Alright, so how you mine uh, the cathane is that you need a drill and most people that have played this mod before know the regular drill which is uh, one of these things. I have the radio extension on. Uh, so what this does is you right click on it and it's still not going to let me go. Okay, there it goes. And what it will do is it will deploy the drill. It'll drill down into the ground and it will extract your cathane. Now there's no cathane here, so it's not going <laughs> to it's not going to actually do anything. But uh that's what it does. And this is the tank, it'll go directly into the tank, and that's how that part works. The next part that's important uh when you find a the cathane and then you start mining it you need to be able to convert it so what we need there is you got two different util uh, converter units you got the medium one and you got the heavy one now I believe it gives you the conversion rates right on here now and it's changed with the new update uh, some things convert better with the medium and some things convert better with the heavy the heavy overall for uh, liquid fuel and stuff is the best idea and let me get this. It's probably not going to work because I have that weird... Okay, there we go. So that's the medium one. And this is... I mean, that's the heavy converter and that's the medium one. So you need those to actually convert uh, your cathane into liquid fuel. Hey guys, I thought I'd go over a little bit of something that we might that you might run into with issues with converting uh, liquid fuel and oxidized uh, oxidizer with uh, using a converter where 
for some reason your converter is not working. Now how the mechanics of uh, Kerbal's space program works is that most fuels can be instantly transferred but for some reason uh, uh, oxidizer and uh, liquid fuel don't work. So if you build your, mach your uh, ships like this then it's no issue because your tank is directly connected to the converter and you will have uh, no problems with um, converting your fuel. So this this is fine. You don't need any special type of things. All right. So say you have a tank uh, kind of like this. You, your fuel your fuel tank is not directly connected to the converter. So what's going to happen is you're going to get your cathane and uh, your cathane tank, and you're going to try to convert it to uh, liquid fuel, and it's not going to work or oxidizer. That's because it's not directly connected to uh, the converter. So all you need to do to fix this, and we won't go over this too much, but is to connect from the tank to the converter, and that will eliminate that problem. And we, before we move on, I almost forgot to show you one of the new parts out there. This is the new heavy drill, and this thing is beautiful. I tell you, I'm going to show you guys this later on in actual action on a ship that I built on, on Mimis, but for now, this is one of the coolest drills and the animation that I'm not going to show right now, but I will show you is absolutely beautiful. The guy that ever did, the guy that did this is a genius. He does actually a very good job on all the animations on this mod. They're really, really nice, but, uh, it's an inline, uh, tank, meaning you can have it inline with all your fuel lines and, or you could set up any way you want. I did it a little bit different on my setup and I'll show you guys later, but, this is one of the new parts. Another extremely important part of the Cathane mod, because without these two items right here, you won't actually find your Cathane. So, what this is, is the KES-210 Compact Survey Unit. unit, And you place it on there, yeah, you launch it into space with a space vehicle or whatever, and you use the scanner to actually find your cathane deposits and basically how it works is you can right click on it and you'll have a map setting and you, you turn the map setting on and it will have an option to turn it on and off uh, this is the smaller unit the compact survey unit there's also a bigger unit that's a little bit more powerful now what I've read on the forum that these have also changed in uh, in the new version the old version you could throw one of these on and you'd get you'd get a pretty good uh, you'd, uh, you'd get a pretty good coverage of this but now I guess how it works is that the more units you have on your satellite or your ship uh, the better coverage you get of the planet on its first pass and I'm not sure if it, I'm, I'm pretty sure it only I don't know if it applies to the big one or not but the little ones you're gonna want uh, as much coverage as you possibly can get it seems the power consumption has gone down considerably with these. Uh, the big one's still pretty high, but the little ones aren't as bad. Uh, looks like a couple solar power. One last thing that's added. It's the newest, grandest thing. It's called the KE. Wait, no, no, stop! Kerbal on reconstitutionator. In an effort to go green, OKEP engineers devised a method to extract cathane from a readily available and fully renewable resource. While low in mass, these sometimes brave Kerbal knots have a high energy density, yielding a not insignificant quantity of cathane. Warranted void if used on Jebediah. So, why not show you guys the very first thing of how we can mine cathane in this game. I've already made a little ship for you guys. It's called the Use Only an Emergency Ship. We'll launch her and I'll show you how this particular new part actually works. What we need to do is we need to uh, EVA one of our Kerbals here as he falls on the ground. Hopefully we can get back up Yes, he can. We'll grab him up. I don't think he has. To, it matters where he is. Right click on this, and we say blend Kerbal. Yeah. 
And if you look, we now have 150 cathane, but we are one less Kerbal. Kerbal, Kerbalized. He is all gone. Okay, this is just too fun for me. Okay, one more time. Why not make it 300? Sorry, my friend. This is for humankind. Oh, he blew up a little bit different that time. Okay, so now we got 300 cathane. So for you guys in those emergency situations where you need something, and you have, you know, a good supply of Kerbals, uh, those Kerbal hotels are probably coming real handy in this situation. There you go. All right, now that the fun part's over, let's show you how these babies work. So I've actually made a ship for you. It's where did I do it? Where did I do it? The test, the test cathane ship. Ready to launch. This is the actual ship right here. Very poor design. <laughs> I just threw it together. What we have is we have two of the new heavy converter, two of the new heavy drills right here. I got plenty of battery packs. I got some of those uh, uh, radioactive decay uh, chargers. I got some of the big, huge uh, solar panels, some more batteries. Uh, I got my mono monopropane on there. Uh, I got two tanks, and I got that little tiny tank. That's the, what? which one is that? That's the, that's the 2000 one. Now, a little trick I'm going to tell you guys right now. These big tanks are good, in a way, but all you need is a little one because of how what I'm going to show you now after we take off and we get this thing going. So I'll be right back. Let's get this thing in space and get her to move on. Of course, I'm just going to jump through all this for we don't have to watch all this boring stuff of launching. We're just going to get there, put this up. Gone. So, I'll be right back, guys. Okay, hey guys, this is back. Let me give you guys a little pointer. Uh, the, definitely the best place to mine cathane in uh, Kerbin, that's your home planet, is not the moon, but it is Mimmus, because Mimmus has very little gravity. And when you're mining cathane and you're, uh, Transferring it to uh, liquid fuel, you're going to want to not waste a whole bunch of it getting there. So, that's my little tip for you guys right there. So, what we got going on right here, this is the actual map mapping of Minmus. And I've turned on all my uh, little things, and I've actually fast-forwarded it a little bit. That's why it's going fast. But every time you hear that little bing... Bing. That is a cathane deposit, and you can see the little, uh, the little uh, darker whites and the little darker blues. Uh, different cathane have different uh, deposits, and what I've done is I've actually found most of them. I've let it go for you know a few minutes in time acceleration, and now I'm going to actually land at one of the cathane uh, spots. And if you look at the little map. You can see that there's a little uh, circle there with a little uh, X in it. That is where your ship is, and that is how I found the cathane deposit. I didn't use any of the, the deposit uh, coordinates because I don't have uh, any uh, other mods installed in here. I'm just going by eye, and I'm waiting until my I was judging where my ship was at the time when uh, I was going over the planet, and then I decided that's about right where it was uh, going to land, and now I'm kind of trying to get the uh, the point to where I want it to go to. I'm, I'm kind of off right now, so I'm trying to turn my ship. This thing that I'm flying is a piece of crap. I'm <laughs> it was a really quick design. I literally only designed it in like five minutes, and it's extremely difficult to, to steer, extremely difficult to move. It's really big. It's really heavy. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just trying to get this thing to move correctly over here. It's it's getting there. But you can still see, if you look uh, at the map where it says detecting. Uh, let me show you about the deposit, where it says the last deposit uh, found. It says uh, 4.735. Uh, that's the coordinates. And right next to it in the brackets, that is the actual amount of cathane 
that you have discovered. Uh, I believe it's leaders. I, that's what the L stands for. So that's actually a pretty huge uh, uh, cathane deposit. That would actually last me a long time. Now, cathane does run out. So every deposit you do mine, that's as much as I can mine. 457492. So it's 457,492 liters, I believe. I could be wrong on that. But anyway, so yeah, that's how that's how that works. So let's just get this ship where it belongs and we'll land and we'll show you how the conversions work. Alright guys, I am back. It took me a couple of times to get this thing on the ground, but I finally did it. I barely have any fuel left and now we're gonna start mining. Something important to remember when uh, you are landing, you want to make sure that you're hearing that beep beep that that solid beep that you're over a cathane if you're not if you land where there's no cathane you're not going to get any uh cathane out now this is the new heavy drill i think it's the most awesome animation i've ever seen on a drill on in the cathane and any game mod of uh kerbal yet uh so i'm going to use both uh both uh drills here and if we watch my uh, i actually had it ooh, i just popped it down there oh i put it in f2 for you guys can watch we can see the cathane is going up. And you can fast forward it and it will work. Uh, you know, you set the time acceleration in the game. I'm doing that right now. And you can tell that the cathane is filling up. That's how you do it real quick. And that's it. I got a full tank of cathane there. I'm going to shut the drills off. I'm just, this is not how I usually do it, but I just want to make sure my power supply is going to be running correctly when I'm doing this. So now we want to convert the cathane to liquid fuel, since I have hardly any left. I, I really did land on uh, empty em empty tanks. It was amazing. So you can tell you can tell the cathane converter is working because the little thing pops out. And now we can see that my liquid fuel is actually uh, gaining up. Now to get that to work, all you got to do is right click on it on the converter and select uh, what you want to convert to. And again, if you fast forward during this it will actually uh, convert while it's fast forwarding it's a pretty cool system you don't actually have to sit there in real time and wait for it to actually convert at some point I'll actually do this just making sure everything's working correctly there we go and I've run out of cathane so out of 2000 I got 877 uh, uh, liquid fuel out of that. Now this is how I usually mine. I usually make my ships enough where they can drill and they can convert at the same time. So, which makes it easy because if you just fast forward, you can tell that I'm gaining all my uh, liquid fuel that I can. I'm going to keep the things going. I'm going to shut the liquid fuel converter off and I'm going to activate the oxidizer. Now my oxidizer is going to go up. It's gonna, I'm fast forwarding by now in the game by the way. And there we go. I'm going to shut the oxidizer off. And I'm going to look at my Mono Pro. And I'm going to say, yeah, I need some of that too. And I'm going to fill that up. So basically, I just filled my entire ship up with a full tank of cathane, oxidizer, liquid fuel, and monopropellant. So, guys, this is Malkuth 1974. That's the cathane mod. I leave it up to you guys now on how and what to do. Your options are limitless with what you can do with this mod and where you can go. Thanks for watching guys. As always, subscribe, comment, and rate. Even if you don't subscribe, give me a little holler.